Hey there, this is Catherine Bernier from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become a better skydiver. So this video is a very special one because it's our first ever interview on Skydive Vibes. And today we are discussing with Tim Parent about camera safety. So Tim has been in the sport for many years and he has thousands of camera jumps um, and he actually recently wrote an article on Skydive Mag, an online magazine. And his article was all about bringing awareness around camera briefings and camera safety. So as skydivers, we all want to reach that level where we can jump with a camera on our helmet so, get, so that we can share our experience and get some sick skydiving shots. That being said, safety is really important. So in this video, I did interview Tim along, uh, about his uh, article on Skydive Mag so that he can share with us the tips and tricks and the safety aspect of jumping with a camera. Hey Tim, how are you? Yeah, good day. How's it going? Good, thanks. All right, so can you start off by telling us a little bit more about what is your background and um, how did you end up becoming a skydiver at the first place? Uh, yeah, no problem. I was yeah, kind of a typical kid, like really into the extreme sports like skateboarding and surfing. So when I was 18, I did the, the first tandem and I was hooked straight away. So around the same time, I was joining the military. So I joined the military so I could do some sort of parachuting role as well. So I did some like uh, static line jumps in the military and then continue on with the free fall. So I, I, my progression started through the military really with skydiving and then after I left, I set out in the big bad world to travel around and taking on jobs everywhere I could, like from China and Mexico, pretty much anywhere I could, skydiving, gaining experience, making new friends. Great. So, uh, and right now, I think you're a cameraman at Emporia Brava in Spain. So, how many camera jumps uh, up to now do you have? Uh, now, I think I have just over a thousand like official camera jumps, but a lot of my other jumps as well has been with cameras, like either handy cams or just sport jumping um, with a, like a normal little GoPro on as well. Okay. So I say most of my jumps are with a camera. All right. And um, so, like I said at the beginning, you just wrote an article about Sky uh, in Skydive Mag about camera briefing and safety. Can you share with us kind of the elements you uh, wrote about in that article? Uh, yeah, this article is a two-part article. Uh, the first part is talking about some of the risks um to do with uh flying with cameras and just pointing out some of the obvious uh things to do with it and then the second part is talking about who should do a camera briefing so it was a kind of more of a request as well from me to ask other experienced camera flyers to make themselves known at their local drop zone to start giving people actual camera briefings because I was finding that there was a lack of appropriate camera briefings going around, including myself. When I reached 200 jumps, you know, it was kind of like, oh, cool, you can chuck a GoPro on your head and didn't know any better. And I'm seeing this a lot now and it's a bit sad because you see these people with 200 jumps, they put the camera on their head, no idea what's going on. And then that 200 jump magic number, they start base jumping as well with crazy extension poles and all sorts of things and still have real no idea with the risk uh, involved with cameras. Okay. So that's what we're trying to achieve through these articles is a little bit more awareness as well as promoting some safety posters that I created myself and also the camera flying manual that I wrote with the help with some of the most experienced camera flyers in the world. Um, so we can use that uh, when we're teaching camera safety with people as a training aid. Great. So what I'll do is that in the link uh, in the description below of that video, I'm going to make sure I link uh, the articles and uh, so that people can have access to your posters, to your uh, camera manual as well, because I've read them myself and they are pretty good. 
I actually really liked them. And me, myself, I'm actually looking to uh, I've achieved that 200 jump uh, mark right now. So I'm looking at getting uh, my gear up to have a, a GoPro and maybe a full-blown camera on my head. So definitely I need to get some advice from experienced people like you. And I'm sure a lot of people do need proper camera briefing. So thanks for those resources, by the way. Um, that being said, can you tell us uh, what tips, advice would you give to young skydivers? Well, I mean, with low, low jumps, like 200 jumps, who wants to get started into uh, doing camera uh, while skydiving? Do you have any tips and tricks or any procedure you would recommend to go through? Yeah, my, my advice is kind of to all the skydivers because it's not just about specific uh, camera flying with like a big setup. It's also talking about just flying with your single GoPro on your full face helmet. Uh, either what path you choose, you still should um, have a proper camera briefing. And so my tip is the first thing before even you reach 200 jumps or you're coming close to that number, seek out the most professional person on your drop zone that does video or ask your chief instructor. Or if you don't have someone, you can also take a specific related course. Here we have Gustavo Cabana who does traveling and stuff like that, who will attend the course at your drop zone if you need it. And my, my first bit of advice would say is don't rush into it. You know, just because you can jump with a camera under the rules doesn't mean you have to. So first build up the skills, build up the awareness and build up the confidence. You know, you can practice flying around like with your buddies. If you you can pretend to be the cameraman, like on a third person on a two way kind of thing and just build up the skills before you actually put the camera on your head. So when you do put the camera on your head, it's not all these new things at once that's happening, you know, because you might yeah. find the stress of the first time the camera on your head, then you're climbing on the camera step where you've never been before. And there's a lot going through your head, you know, and then it just takes something out of the ordinary to happen, maybe a malfunction. With all these extra factors, it's a lot to, uh, to go on inside your mind. So the first step is don't rush into it. You know, mm -hmm. some people need a little bit more time before they add cameras to their jumps. And some people are, are able to do it straight away. Good. So, yeah, don't rush into it. Get a proper camera briefing from a qualified person. And then the last bit of advice is don't go cheap, okay? Just because the GoPro you buy comes with a standard sticky mount and you put it on your helmet, boom, you're going to go. Yeah, fair enough. This is the cheapest option, but it's not the best option. Spend a little bit of money and get yourself a nice snagless mount. Or if you're going bigger setup, just spend a little bit extra time. Think about it before you start adding all this stuff to your helmet. A few extra bucks might save your life. Yeah. Well, that's a good advice. And that's the first time I hear it. So definitely we'll look into that. Um, and talking about which gear we should go for, uh, can you show us what you actually have in terms of uh, set up whenever you jump uh, on those camera jumps? Uh, yeah, so my tandem camera flying jumps, I have my Tonfly helmet. Uh, it has a cutaway on the chin, which is easy to locate. And also it's handy because it's always there. So I know if I've dislodged it on the ground, I know that it's missing. I like it because the foam and the gap in between the helmet, it's glued there. So no lines can go inside or reserve bridles, which I had an incident, which you can see on a different helmet uh, in my article. On the top okay. here, I have a custom carbon mount with two GoPros and a DSLR on top like that with a Velcro strap there to stop any lines going through there, which that cost me nothing, you know. Something a little extra that I see a lot of people don't have, you can add for nothing. Yeah. On my fun jumping helmet, I have uh, a snagless mount here from Colette. It's a bit hard to see, it's black. I like this one because it's snagless to begin with. Uh, you can add the five, the six, there's different options of different helmets. And there's an, also an option to buy it with a cutaway cable. So if for some reason you had a crazy line twist or something inside here, pull the cutaway and it releases just a camera. Also another handy note, if you want to go to the tunnel quickly, 
you can just cut it away and then you go fly in the tunnel and then put it back together later on. Okay. So that's my camera setups as well. Uh, when we're talking about setups and equipment, it's a good choice what we're jumping with, you know, with our gear ourselves. Our rig should be free flight friendly, especially mm -hmm. if you're flying underneath formations and, and different um, the types of skydiving, you know, it's always good to have a free flight friendly rig. And also good canopy choice, especially in these kind of helmets, the bigger helmets, you want a reliable canopy. So I'm using a JFX from NZ Aerosports. Mm -hmm. um, people with bigger setups might want to use a bigger canopy with larger lines like Dacron lines or something like this. So there's other options as well, that, uh, well other things to think about when you're buying your gear, especially in the long run, if you're going to do this sort of camera work. Then you want to start thinking about the canopies and the rig and other considerations when you invest in gear. Okay. Good. And actually, uh, that's the first time I see, uh, well, that's not the first time I see a quick release on the uh, the actual cookie full face helmet. But at first, what I thought is it was that you were releasing your whole helmet. So is that a custom uh, setup you have so that you can just release the camera? No, this one by Colette is a guy, I believe he's an American guy. He designed yeah. the system so it's made like that. So you can buy these ones online. He also has the option if you don't want the cutaway, you can buy it without the cutaway. Okay. That well, sounds good. So that's and Reggie Colette. I can put a link in, in the video or at the bottom of the comments for you guys. Yeah, definitely. I'll put it there. Um, also, uh, I noticed you have two GoPro and then one DSLR. So you're taking a picture with the DSLR and then um, the two GoPros are for, um, you take two videos? Uh, yeah, I have one for videos and then the bottom one is for pictures and videos. So if for some reason, like a long day, you run out of batteries or sometimes if you get an SD card or something like that, uh, the customer is not gonna miss out uh, because I made a mistake. I have my backup camera to to take some pictures or some video or something like that. Okay, well, that's good. All right, so uh, if people would like to ask you more questions, uh, where can they uh, connect with you? I guess maybe on Facebook? Yeah, you can find me on Facebook or uh, Instagram is uh, Koala in the Sky. Or if you can send me an email at tim.parent at hotmail.com. Uh, I'm happy to help uh, anyone has any advice or if they need recommendations for um, some coaching with Gustavo Cabana or they need help with their camera projects, I can give them advice, anything like that. Uh, I'm willing to help. Excellent. Thank you. And I'll make sure I link those uh, social media links to you uh, in the description as well. So thanks a lot for your time, Tim. And um, I hope you'll be jumping a lot this season. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Right. <laughs> All right, no worries. Enjoy. Great. So I hope you've enjoyed and uh, make sure to look at the description below because I'm going to put the links that we discussed about, but most importantly, the Skydive Mag links to the articles that uh, Tim wrote and also uh, his social media accounts so that you can reach out to him if you have any questions. That being said, let us know in the comments below if you're actually jumping with a camera and what is the setup you're using. Also consider subscribing not to miss any skydiving videos just like this one. On that I tell you stay safe and blue skies.